Hello fellow viewers, um, so I'm still using my X56 at the moment, just haven't really seen the need, I've got a Warhog as well, but I just haven't had the need to transfer over yet, and I don't like to leave things until they're, uh, you know, completely broken, so, anyway, the stick has become troublesome in the last few weeks, it's become stiff, and uh, it works, it's the physicality of it, the electrics is fine, but the physicality, it's no longer smooth, when you go over it, it's kind of like jerk, 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 push, uh, jerk, jerk, catches on something, clicks, and goes. So something's not quite working right. It doesn't work quite right. Then we've got to figure out what's uh, what's going on with it. Um, handle, as far as I'm aware, it's a bit. You can hear it making a bit cracking noise because it's plastic and it's five years old, being used every day. But it works fine. There's something to do with here. So I've taken the base apart. Uh, it's very simple. Well, I don't actually know how it works at the moment. This guy here base with the spring um, so if I try to pull it like that it doesn't move it catches on something it doesn't feel right at all so I thought the problem would be the base of the spring got this little uh, hat the spring puts pressure on the hat the hat rubs against that you know rubs against the base there to give it a bit of uh, that has to add some, uh, you know, it's as it's as to add friction, but it's adding too much friction. So I thought I'd grease it. So I've greased it with general purpose grease. It didn't make any difference. It's still catching. It's still not right. So let me just. Now, if I remove the string completely, what I'm doing is I'm putting tension in it. So I've removed the string completely. There, the problem's still there. So I don't think the problem is actually the spring or this little friction here. I think the problem's actually inside. And usually with anything mechanical, it's you know it's just got dry or it's got worn, it's got degreased or whatever. So we're having a look. So what we've got is the wires come in, they go to this small circuit board here, it goes to the connector there, where's my finger there, through that loop there, through to sensors there, and fascinating learning you must have a series of potentiometers, or maybe just an X and a Y potentiometer in there. So we're going to take it apart and see what we can learn, stand by. I stripped it, I didn't bother filming it. I, I didn't think I was going to solve the problem, and I almost half gave up. Um, stripped it all the way down to just the stalk there and the potentiometers on the bottom. I can't remember whether I showed them off or not. And I checked everything, all the little mini bearings and the actual sense, potentially on my sensor and everything, and everything looked fine. So I put it back together, just tightened everything up and, 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 and checked. And what I actually found the problem was, so imagine everything's removed here, apart from the kind of what I call the stalk, the drive there in the middle here. And what happens when you move it about, watch this plate here, sorry, there, because it's got the spring putting pressure on this plate here, pushing this plate here against the base. So, now, oh, that's lovely. That is a new joystick. I know it's wobbling about because it's not level, but that there is absolutely beautiful. That's how it used to be. Well, the problem was, was that, obviously you've got a surface between, oh, come on, that sleeve there, that goes up and up and down on that stalk there, gunk had built up built up between them. There's a small space, you know, there's a small tolerance, there's tolerance and everything obviously. So watch that sleeve as it goes, pulls up and down that shaft. You see? It, it just got dust and gunk and hair and whatever crap gets in there. And it built up a layer of, of or whatever you call it, crud on the stalk. You couldn't actually see it until you really got down and started looking carefully. So I scraped all the crud off. You know, not a vast amount, but you know, for the tolerances we're, we're looking here, it was it was quite a lot. Scraped the ground off here, and I removed the spring and everything so I could get this plate out properly. And on the lower bit, the stalk there, greased it up with general purpose, and it's absolutely perfect. Because I was about to have to move to my warthog because um, it was getting un unusable. Um, and that's it. So, as long as your centers are working, I, I just can't see how you can break. People keep saying plastic joystick breaks. I cannot actually break it. I've been using it for you know nine hours a day. But you have four or five, three or four years now, whatever I'm using it for, and I just cannot break it as long as you treat it and maintain it like you know every tool. Um, it's perfect, it's brand new again. So, really easy fix if you're starting to get a joystick that feels a bit stiff. I can't think of the words for it, but, you know, feels 
a bit stiff and a bit clicky and stuff, well, it just takes it right back to brand new. So, I've got those useful to you later.